Friday the 11th of December 2020. We're marching closely to uh, Christmas around the corner. It's a day night or a twilight meeting at Hollywood Bets Gravel. We're on the turf and there's eight races carded. The first race is the Gold Circle Racing YouTube Maiden Plate over 1200 meters. And at this point in time of recording, there is absolutely no change to report. Lovely to have Graham in the studio with me as always. Well, you've been on a, a couple of days away, so we've missed you and we're looking forward to your bipod and your second jackpot. How are you? All good, thank you. Looking forward to this race meeting. Nice to be on the turf. Late start, five minutes to two, so everybody's got plenty of time to do their homework. Let's go. The first race, Graham, <clears throat> sets off the bipod. It's the first leg of the bipod come Friday. When I studied, Saipan, if you remember, I selected Saipan as, as a good value choice last time. He nearly pulled it off for us. So I felt that I had to be loyal to him. But when I studied and studied, horse number one, Grey Ocean, kept uh, taking my attention. I've gone with him to win. Grey Ocean, obviously, we spoke to Warren Kennedy when he ran last time. He had the worst of the draw to contend with on the 29th of November in Scottsville. And... Uh, he was caught a little wide in the early stages, did get in. I was a little disappointed with the fact that he just stayed on one pace. He showed no inclination to want to quicken. He was comfortably beaten into fifth position. I'm sure he's better than that. This time he cracks the inside gate. I've selected him to run third, uh, but healthy respect because Warren Kennedy uh, did tell us last time that he has got ability. Who's your first choice? My first choice is the ruling early favorite, number six, Prince Tyrion. I think he's headed the right direction. Um, he's uh, only course and distance run, he finished second. Uh, Mark Dixon's in pretty good form, Keegan DeMello's in good form, so I'm expecting a bold showing from number six, Prince Tyrion. But uh, I have covered him with number two, Masango Machine, who's my second choice. Masango Machine uh, was back to favorite last time, ran a shocker. I had a word with Peter Musket. He's drawn well. Peter is expecting him to be in the frame. That's good enough for me. He's got, he's got the ability to win a race of this nature. Obviously, he hasn't run since July. He might just be short of one, but uh, he's well enough to do himself justice. And uh, Peter has confirmed to me that he's expecting him to be in the first four at least. Well, that's encouraging to know. And uh, number two, Msango, Msango machine, certainly a must for all bets. I've got to, before we wrap the first race, I've found a bit of value here. What price is number four, Silver Celebrity? You can write your own ticket. Okay, I'll write my own ticket for Silver Celebrity for the Justin Snaith stable. My each way value at any price, I think he's going to run a much better race and I'll be having a few places on number four Silver Celebrity. But I like one Grey Ocean, Graham likes six Prince Tyrion.